Hi, and welcome back to Top 10 Aviation. In our last episode, we discussed the top 10 safest airlines in the world. This time, we will cover the top 10 safest low-cost airlines in the world for 2021. They will be determined by a composite of the airline's crash and serious incident records, audits from aviation's governing bodies such as the FAA, ICAO, and YADA, fleet age, and, more relevant now than ever, the COVID-19 protocols. Over the last year or so, industry focus on safety has shifted its weight from audits to pilot performance, and this has allowed some new names to make the list. Will your favorite low-cost airline make the cut? Make sure to watch until the end to find out. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to never miss any new uploads. All that said and done, let's get started. Number 10. Starting us off at number 10 is EasyJet, the UK-based airline out of London, Luton Airport. They have benefited from the industry's agreement on pilot performance taking a bigger role in safety ratings. Since their foundation in 1995, they have yet to record a fatality. Their performance in this category has also gathered them mainstream acclaim as they were given their own TV series, Inside the Cockpit, where the airline's pilot training program was the focus. Flying mostly Airbus A320s with an average fleet age of just over 11 years, they are far less likely to face maintenance issues that could lead to incidents in the future due to their young fleet. Number 9. Next up at number 9 is Wizz Air, the fast-growing ultra-low-cost carrier based out of Hungary, not to mention the country's largest airline serving 44 countries. If you have never heard of them before, now you have. Founded in 2003, they operate across Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. And like EasyJet, Wiz operates a young fleet of Airbus A320 family. You will see this as a common occurrence throughout the ranking since most of the airlines on this list fly Airbus aircraft. To stack on the comparisons, they also have not recorded a fatality since their beginning in 2003. Most impressive is the management's focus on safety. The company has a set of very good SOPs and company procedures that greatly reduces pilot errors. Overall, barring one minor incident from 2013 where an emergency landing had to be made in Italy because of the airplane's faulty landing gear, Wizz Air has a clean record. Regarding its fleet's age, it averages at less than five and a half years old, which makes it the low-cost airline with the youngest fleet in the world. Number 8. Coming as a surprise at number 8 is the first U.S. carrier that we will be talking about, Frontier Airlines. The name does not usually catch attention other than concerns of poor business and service performance. However, this is not attributed to their safety. Their views on safety are emphasized from the CEO and carried down throughout the company. With no fatal incidents in their history, they ease some concern as Frontier's safety reputation is well known to those outside of the industry. Other publications rank Frontier higher, but we will keep it at number 8 because of its relatively low operating volume. Number 7. Allegiant Air Number 7 will stand as one of the most controversial choices on this list. As little as a few years ago, the carrier was seen as unsafe due to its consistent mechanical issues plaguing their commercial aircraft. This was due to having a fleet of old McDonnell Douglas MD-80s, which gave them an average fleet age of 22 years back in the mid-2010s, which was 10 years over the industry average at the time. Since then, they have upgraded their fleet to newer Airbus models A319 and A320s, and have gone away from the MD-80s. Confidence has grown in the airline since, and passenger rates grew at a record rate pre-COVID with no incidents to report since being scared straight by the regulatory officials and prioritizing safety in the skies. Number 6. Jetstar No surprise here, Jetstar is our sixth safest low-cost airline in the world today. Jetstar is a wholly owned subsidiary of Australia's Qantas Airways, representing the Qantas Low Fare branch. For years, Qantas has been ranked number one as a consensus pick in airline safety due to its clean record over decades. It is only suitable that its child, Jetstar, follows in its path. It has been one of the safest carriers for years now with zero fatal incidents in its history and runs one of the youngest fleets in the world averaging 9.7 years, dialing down the likelihood of any mechanical failure. Number 5. WestJet WestJet was founded in 1996 and is based out of the Calgary International Airport. They are Canada's second largest airline behind Air Canada. The low-cost alternative has been a consistent force in the Canadian aviation industry and their safety record is no different. They have zero major incidents with no fatalities or major injuries to their name. 
The two most notable incidents on record were when the aircraft overran the runway onto grass in 2015 and last year in January 2020. The latter occasion happened during a snowstorm, so we're inclined to let that one slide. Although flying primarily Boeing 737 series fleet, they also reserve some Boeing 787s for long-haul flights. Like Jetstar, with their exceptional history, they would be higher on this list if they were purely a low-cost airline. Number 4. Ryanair Ryanair needs no introduction. Known as one of the world's largest airlines, it has been a pioneer in executing the ultra-low-cost business model to near perfection. Notorious for its bad boy CEO Michael O'Leary and his questionable business practices, Ryanair maintains one of the highest safety ratings in the industry today. In over 30 years of business, they have recorded zero fatalities and only a handful of incidents. The only notable incident was in August 2008 when an emergency landing due to a sudden loss of cabin pressure left 16 passengers injured. Passengers of the flight went on record for saying that they felt their life was in danger. However, in classic O'Leary fashion, he finessed the perception of this incident as a one-off where all proper emergency procedures took place during that flight. Aside from that, there have rarely been any other emergencies during Ryanair's history. Number 3. Vietjet The modern, ultra-low-cost carrier from Vietnam has caught the industry by storm. Founded in 2011, it is the youngest airline on this list, but it plays with the veterans. It has received plenty of recognition as one of the best low-cost airlines in the world as well as one of the safest. When the only notable incident you can find within a two-year time frame is a hard landing on a runway, you can say that they are doing pretty well. With the aid of its young A320 series fleet, Vietjet has earned an exceptional 99.96 technical reliability rate and the Yada Operational Safety Audit Certificate. In just the span of a decade, Vietjet has become a powerhouse in Asia known for its safety, customer experience, and operational excellence. Perhaps next year we'll see them higher on our list. Number 2. Air Arabia The UAE's first low-cost carrier founded in 2003 is based in the Sharjah International Airport. Running a fleet of 42, you guessed it, Airbus A320 aircraft, Air Arabia has maintained the highest safety rating for years due to zero fatal incidents in its history and only a handful of minor incidents. What separates Air Arabia from the pack, however, is their stringent COVID-19 protocols, which are listed on their website in thorough detail, even including what you should do with your toilet paper after each use at the airport and on board. No detail of their safety program has been overlooked, which is no surprise why Air Arabia is considered world-class when it comes to airline safety. And here we go for the number one of our top 10 video, the best moment to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so far. Number one, JetBlue. The New York-based airline has an excellent safety record that has not even tallied a single serious injury from an incident since its foundation in 2011. Despite a few landing gear related issues in the past, they maintain a relatively clean record. Furthermore, they have been recognized as one of the world's top 20 COVID-compliant airlines by AirlineRatings.com. In addition to the standard protocols, JetBlue has innovated their COVID-19 approach by implementing technology and some creativity regarding their boarding. They have employed touch-free in-flight entertainment by means of passengers using their personal devices as remotes. This strategy has been expanded through its check-in process, which enables the passenger to essentially have a touch-free experience from start to finish. During boarding, JetBlue has been loading its planes from back to front instead of the traditional front to back to keep aisles from becoming too crowded. This has just been the tip of the iceberg when it comes to JetBlue, but an entire video can be dedicated to the masterclass safety standards of that airline. Well, that wraps it up for today's Aviation Top 10. Let us know in the comments below if you think we missed any airline or if there are any other topics you want us to cover. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you very soon.